Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, yesterday we have completed the chapter, sir, the twenty-one chapter volume. Yes, sir. So today, can we do the front page of volume? No, beta. We will start yes, the new sir. new chapter. Have you all completed chapter twenty-one volume? Morning, yes, sir. sir, sir, but we have not done fun page. But fun, can we start at chapter thirteen? Uh, we will fun do the fun page and revision. Okay, when we do the revision. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. So let's start the chapter thirteen. Chapter number thirteen, bills. Okay, sir. We have already done percentage. What are you saying? Nehit, you have not done percentage. Sir, I am not done percentage. I am saying that only we will do bills, sir. I am hmm. asking that. Bills, yes. Open the chapter bills, all of you. One page number one one one, one hundred eleven. Yes, everyone. So, which page number one one? Page number one hundred eleven. The name of the chapter is Bills, chapter number thirteen. Do you know what is a bill, everyone? Yes, sir. Do yes, you know sir. what is a bill? Yes, sir. So we always go to our shop and buy something. The shopkeeper gave us the bill. Uh, and what what does the bill show you? What is this? What is it represent? The record, the record, ha, huh? the medicines, the things that we have buy it. We had a record of it. The yes. names, the names of the items. How many items you bought? Names of the items. Number of items of the same type that you have bought. And the price of each item, and the total price of each item. Okay, total price of all the items is there in the bill. Am I right or not? Have you all seen the bill? Seen any bill in your life? Samrith, yes. yes. Samrith, have you seen yes, bill? Yes, sir. Very good. Yes, sir. So that means you all have an idea of. Sorry. Sir, with the help of Sir, we can return also the item that we have brought. Correct, correct, correct. You, if you have the Sir, bill, I you have, have that. I have seen it made also. Very good. So, if you have a bill, that means you have the record. You have the proof that you bought an item from some shop or some store, right? So you have the proof also, and it is important for other purposes also. Uh, the government also. Ask the customers and the shopkeepers to prepare bill for every purchase. Okay, so if you are purchasing a bill, uh, something from the market, take a bill. Okay, it gives you a record. Okay, and you can maintain record, and you it will be beneficial sometime in your life. Very helpful thing. Okay. So what is a bill actually? I will show you help. Uh, try to explain you with the help of an example. Suppose I am a shopkeeper. I am a shopkeeper. You are a customer. Everyone, you all are customers. Suppose, okay. You came to me. You came to my store. My store is suppose X Y Z store. This is the name of my store. X Y Z. I am just giving you an example just to explain. Okay, so my uh, store is X Y Z store. So I am going to prepare a bill for you. You are buying something from my store. Suppose the first thing, I will uh, make a table for it. Try to make a table for it. Okay. So the first thing that you bought from my store is. Suppose I have a stationery store. Okay, 
stationary do you know what is what is stationary yes sir uh hmm do you all know what is the meaning of stationary yes sir what are, what what is a stationary item what are stationary item sir the sardi thing that we use for the school such as color pencil books very bags very good very good very good no bottles uh, sir tiffin box etc sir very good absolutely right sir eraser that's absolutely right drawing sheet very intelligent you all colors so here uh, i will make a bill for you 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 bought three items from my shop my store okay i am writing all the three items so this is s number s number means serial number so that means first item item number 1 yes, item number 2 item number 3 so three items you purchase item number 1 description is sir item number 1 is rice rice stationery shop se rice kharidoge sir pen pen okay and sir sir then then, then i will write sir, quantity sir, sir, quantity, sheet. quantity sir, right? sheet. Are just 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 sir, a just just a map suppose 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 you bought three sheet. you bought three pen from my store this is quantity quantity means number of pens yes. that you okay surprise so surprise per pen surprise cost surprise per unit. Unit. unit cost per cost unit per means, is it rupees 5 it means the price of each pen what is the price of each pen suppose it is of rupees 1 10 10 Ten rupees each pen. Let it be ten rupees. Sir, sir, total so, cost is equal to thirty rupees. So total cost of three pens. What will be the total cost of three pens? Sir, thirty rupees. We will talk about this later. Thirty rupees. Thirty rupees. We we will we will talk about this later on. Okay, total. Sir, next item is colors. Colors. Pencil okay. color. Colors. You bought colors from my. You bought two pieces. Two sir. point. Okay, you bought two suppose. Yes, And the sir, price of sir, each is suppose sir, rupees twenty five. Twenty five. Sir, have you not read? Sir, have you not? Sir, we not got two colors. We got twelve or thirteen. No, no, two packs. Two packets. Price of each packet twenty five. Okay. Okay. Sir, next is drawing sheet. Sir, a drawing. Sir, drawing sheet. Sir, copies. Sir, copies. Copies. Okay. Sir. Suppose you bought four copies. Four copies. Price of each copy is twenty. Um, but twenty. Twenty rupees each copy. Now tell me, uh, if you if you have bought thirty fifty eighty, so thirty fifty. Just a minute. Just a minute. You have bought three pens, and the price of each pen is rupees ten. So what is the cost of three pens, everyone? Price of one. Thirty. How how to calculate it? You will multiply three and ten. Sir, multiply. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it yes, is sir. rupees thirty. Correct. Yes, sir. Colors. If if you have bought sir, two packs of colors and, you bought, and the price of each pack is rupees sir, thirty. Rupees fifty. Two packs will be two into twenty five rupees. Sir, fifty. Fifty. Very good. Very sir, rupees eighty. Rupees eighty. Very nice. Price of Each copy is rupees twenty, and therefore the price of four copies will be four into twenty rupees eighty. Very nice. So this much I paid for pens, colors, and copies. So how much will I pay the shopkeeper? Not I, you. I am the shopkeeper. How much you all will pay to me? <laughs> Sir, total. we will add twenty rupees. Sir, one sixty rupees. Grand total. Rupees one sixty. Grand one sixty. Grand total. Rupees one sixty. Sir, one sixty. One sixty. So you all have to pay rupees one sixty to me whenever the schools will open. You will pay. Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, but you have to give us pens, colors, and copies also. So now, ah, uh, yes, this sir, my my. Yes, sir. Three, two, four. my bill is ready now what i will do i will uh, just finalize make it make a box make a box for it and yes, then uh, the bottom i and i, I will I, give you uh, some more some more 
we to write the uh, name of the store we want we can write the name of any store sir beta it will be it not written bill number ha ha yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I, i will write don't worry sir customer name worry. don't don't worry don't worry and bill don't number worry. don't worry are are worry in well bhag jate ho tumko yes okay sir well in ko tape pakadni hai here are my signatures this is the bill ready okay and now i will name the customer also customer name customer name will come here what is the customer name you all are customers so the customer name in this case is class 5c 5c is the customer your name will come okay in this place okay customer name have you all understood how to prepare a bill now yes sir we will we yes, will not sir. if if you want you can write on the date also okay date is also an important thing so what is the date today it's Sir, bill of number. Bill number. Feb two thousand twenty-two. Okay. Bill number is not bill necessary number. in this case because we don't know what is the bill number going on. So leave it so for now. Number. Have you all understood how to prepare a bill? What is a bill now? Everyone, yes, is sir. it clear with the help of yes, this sir, sir, activity that we did in the uh, class? Thirteen point one exercise, sir. We have to make like this only bills. Yes, beta. You have to prepare a bill like this. Okay. Okay, sir. Yeah, we can start. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sir, draw the draw. Listen, listen. I will tell you what to do, how to do. So, first of all, listen to me very carefully. You will draw the uh, these tables and boxes, everything. You will draw using a pencil and scale. Noted. Have you noted this point? Use pencil and scale to draw. Yes, sir. Okay. second thing okay. draw the table sure. afterwards not in the starting draw the table afterwards when you have entered all the uh, information first write all the information and then draw the table in the end that will be better okay are you getting my point understood how yes, to do it yes. everyone can we start with the first yes, question sir. of the exercise you yes, have to sir. prepare yes, so we can do by our own Yes, yes, beta. Yes, sure. We we are going to start the first question. Only the first question we will do discussion, and then from the question number two, you I will ask you to do. Okay, let's sir, start. Haven't we done this? We have not done it, beta. Sir, didn't we do it? No, no, beta. We have not done it yet. Sir, I think Noel is talking about the profit and loss. There is same thing like oh. this in profit and loss okay, chapter. No, it, this, sir, this is not profit and loss. Customer name is Arthi. Yes, customer name is Arthi Balaji Stores. Okay, so let's start doing sir, the first yes. question, everyone. So the the name name what is the name of the store first of all, everyone? Sir, 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 sir Arthi. In the first sir, question. Sir, sir, श्रीवास्तव स्टोर You can write Noel store. You will. You can write Iram store, Nihit store, whatever. Aditya store. So can we write our own name stores? Yes, yes, yes. You can write your own name in place of name of the store, and you can write X Y Z store also. Okay. I am writing X Y Z store. Okay, because this name of the store is not given in the question. If the name of the store is given, now you would have written that only. So this is the name of the store. What is the name of the customer? All of you. Sir, Arti. Arti. This is the name of the Sir, customer. Have... So, what is the first thing that Arti purchased? Arti purchased. Sir, He bought sir, it is T-shirt. 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 Sir, T-shirt. This is the name of the item. Description. T-shirt. How many T-shirts he bought? Sir, four. Sir, four. Four. Sir, 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 four. S
rupees 110 rupees 110 second column first you will enter all the details sir jeans sir jeans sir jeans sir jeans pair of jeans sir quantity sir quantity to cost per unit rupees cost per unit 350 Three hundred fifty. This is the cost of each pair of jeans. Okay. Third one. Each. Sir, third one is running shoes. Running, running shoes. shoes. Sir, quantity one. Running shoes. Can we have to make quantity one? Rupees seven eight. Yes, seven eight. yes beta. You have to make make it in the form of a table. Okay. No sir, sir. I am say, sir. Um, there is a box and sir, a red color box. No, 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 no. That that is not necessary to make. It is not compulsory to make that box. Okay. The inner table you have to make. Okay. So I am erasing it. It is not compulsory to make the outer one. Happy erased. So running shoes. How many pair of, pairs of running shoes she bought? Sir, one and only one pair. Seven hundred eighty-five. Only one pair, only one pair she bought. The price of the pair was seven hundred eighty-five. Seven hundred eighty-five. Sir, four Fourth. pairs. Sleepers. She bought three pairs Sleeper. of sleepers. Sleepers. The item Sleeper. is sleepers. Sir, cost per unit. How many? How many? Three. How many sleepers she, sir, she bought? Three. Sir, three. Three sir, pairs. Three. Cost yes, per sir, unit, sir. Rupees one hundred twenty-five. Sir, cost rupees is one hundred twenty-five. Okay, very and nice. Sir, fifth fifth one. One. And a pair of socks. 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 Is it? How is many? Twenty-eight rupees, sir. Five, five pairs of socks. Sir, five points. Five. Price per unit. Answer twenty-eight rupees. Rupees twenty-eight. Can you prepare sir, the total cost for each item yourself, all of you? Sir, I have prepared. Yes, sir. How will you? Okay, only the first one. You will just multiply four and one hundred ten. What will be the total cost for T-shirts? Sir, four hundred forty. Four hundred forty. Four hundred forty. Start doing sir, it and sir. make the complete the table, all of you. Very well. Complete it and post your answer in the group. Everyone, okay. <clears throat>
So um, Varin and Nihit have done it. Am I right? Yes, sir. I'm checking your answers, both of you. Absolutely right answer. Both of you, very good. Varin and Nihit. Varin, try to do it a little neat and clean. Okay. Answer is correct. Very good. But just try to make it a little more neat. But I have also sent. Anshuman, very nice. Very good, Vita. Absolutely right. So the, I think you all have understood how to do it very good. Excellent. I'm very impressed. At the top, you can write the heading bill also. Okay. Bill. And then the name of the store. Noel. No, sir, we have to write no, it. Sir, we have to write it with pen or pencil. You can write inside the table with pen. Okay. But table you have to draw with pencil. No problem, beta. From the next question, you can write with the help of a pen. Okay. And so please, can you check my uh, Samrid, your first one, the to total cost to that uh, this column, last column. First one is correct, 440. Second one is correct, 700. Third one is correct, 785. Fourth one is also correct, 375. Fifth one is not correct. 5 into 28 is 140. Samrid. Okay. And then do the total. Grand total. Got it. Samrid. Okay, sir. Sir, what will be the fifth one? 140. 5 into 28. 5 multiplied by 28 is 140. So, sir, I think now the answer will become... 2440. Correct, correct, correct. Sir, I have corrected. Very good. Those who have done the first one, please start doing the second one. Start making the table for the second one, everyone. Those who have completed the first one. Yes. Sir, can you please explain in the second one? Sure, I will explain. No problem. So I'm completing the first one now. Okay, so the question is very easy. Sir, am I I right? send on it is just a little lengthy. These questions are very, very easy. Am I right or not? Little lengthy only. Right? So in the end, grand total is equal to rupees 2,440. Sum of all the total cost of all the items. So grand total 2,440. Iram. Sir, please wait a minute. Iram beta. Please check the grand total. It is 2,440. You have written 440 only. 2,440. Yes, sir. Sir, I have written 2,440. Okay, okay. Correct, correct, correct. 
All of you start with question number two. Can I erase it from the board? Have you all completed question one? Yes, sir. Are you done? Done. Keep your mics. Keep it. Keep your mics off. Can we start with question two? All of you. But some of you have not posted the answer for question one. Please post it. Pratishtha, Mudit, Devansh Rai, Jayesh. Sir, we are doing a question. All of you, please post your answer for the first one. Pratishtha, have you done the first one? Sir, do. Beta, do it, complete it quickly and post it. Till then, all of you, start with question number two. Anil went shopping for fruits and vegetables and he bought two dozen oranges at rupees this, 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 this and this. Is the name of the store given in this question? Again, not given. So you will write the name of the store as XYZ. Write down the name of the customer. So I'm erasing this. Okay, unfortunately, you all have to make it again. Draw the table again. I can just erase the items and the costs and then I can do editing in the same table. This facility is not available with you. So what is the first item that the customer bought? Sir, oranges two dozen means 12. Oranges. 24. So 24. Oranges. So he bought two dozen, first item two dozen oranges at rupees 15 a dozen. So the cost is four dozen only. The price is four dozen is 15 a dozen. So you can write down the cost per unit rupees 15 and two dozen. Rupees 15 per dozen is. Then the second item that he bought is apples. one and a half kg of apples. One and a half kg. Apples. One and a half means 1.5 kg. What is the quantity? One and a half kg of apples. So 1.5 kg. One whole one upon two kg. Can we write it as three upon two kg here only? Change it in a improper fraction. Do you all know? Remember how to change a mixed fraction? Yes, sir. Fraction. Yes, sir. Two change ones are two plus one, fraction. three, three upon two. And what is the price of apples? Rupees 6.50 per kg. Sir, Sorry, 20 sir. rupees per kg. Rupees 20 sir, per kg. Sir, 30 rupees. Second is grapes. Sorry, third is grapes. Uh, how much grapes he bought? He bought one four kg, one fourth of kg, one one upon four kg of grapes. What is the price? Rupees forty per kg. Rupees forty is the price. Next item: five kg of potatoes. Potatoes. Yes, sir. Five. How many, total, how many items are there? Yes, sir. sir, seven. Sir, seven. Sir, seven. seven items, items, too, many. <laughs> too many items. <laughs> no problem. We will make some space.
पोटैटो पोटैटोस सर 7 पर केजी एंड टोटल 5 केजीज ऑफ पोटैटो पोटैटो एट 7 रुपीस 7 पर केजी रुपीस 7 पर केजी इतना सस्ता अरे वरन लेट्स मेक सम स्पेस फॉर द पोटैटोस for the next item what is the next item for the next item all of you the next item the next is item is tomato onions sir an onion sir yes sir yes sir sir onion 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 sir onions How how much? What is the quantity he purchased? Three kg. Sir, onion six point fifty per kg. Rupees six point five zero per kg. Okay. Then tomatoes. Yes, sir. Sir, two kg of tomatoes at per rupees twelve per kg. Rupees twelve per kg. Two kg tomatoes at rupees twelve per kg. Answer next is cauliflower. Is cauliflower. Cauliflower. Sir, sir one whole number one upon two kg. At rupees fifteen per kg. At rupees at rupees. Sir, one fifteen per kg. Sir, one upon. How much? One whole one upon two kg. Sir, one number one upon two kg. One whole one upon two is equal to rupees fifteen per kg. One two kg. Kg and what is the price? Per kg. Rupees fifteen per kg. so let's start doing the multiplication now all of you Start multiplying everyone. Find the products. What is the product in the first case? Rupees thirty. Two into fifty. Second case. How do you multiply three upon two by twenty? Sir, thirty know. rupees. Sir, thirty rupees. Three upon two multiplied by twenty. Do you all remember doing this or not? Three into twenty, sixty. Sixty upon two, thirty. Got it, everyone? Have you all understood this? You have done this in fraction. No, 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 Multiply three and twenty. Multiply the numerator, sixty. Correct. And now sixty. You divide by two. What do you get? Thirty. Simple. Okay, sir. Okay. So thirty rupees. Second one. Again, you will do in the same way. One upon four multiplied by forty. So one into forty is forty. Forty upon four is ten. So what do you get? You get rupees ten here. You can do this work in rough. this thing you can do in rough okay this is rough work you can do in rough work so 5 into 7 35 are you all getting it complete it everyone beta are you all able to understand or not yes sir 